the Samsung Jio, a phone that nobody wants anymore. But she got the iOS Blue ROM installed. Yep, there she is. And uh, we're gonna boot her up so you can also see how it looks. And the boot page is updated. She also got the blue uh, boot page and there it comes. For the Samsung S3 and even the S4 mini, I finished uh, two ROMs today, well in fact three, this one is just finished, it's for the Samsung Jio and I made it a little bit lighter, let's boot it up, there we are, I made it a little bit lighter, there is no uh, control center, um, but, but, but we do have our little iNotifier so we can even insert our little name here making it all all sexy and nice Tele48 you see that you cannot probably not see it too good it's a little bit dark and this is it my friends and the lights that you're seeing is uh, yeah I'm <laughs> I will not tell you where I am I'm, I'm, I'm in my private discotheque <laughs> but here you can see um, the apps in the Jio in here this crazy apps this duo me that I showed before I can't even remember if I did post the video but it was not working but this is a Chinese app I found it in the Chinese app store and in fact it's not connecting it should connect there it goes and there is a lot of music on here eh? I don't know uh, all this music but I've been listening a little bit it's all in Chinese uh, Dansez avec moi that is French oh it quits oh my gosh <laughs> and I trusted that it would work Oh my gosh, it quits. That is so sad. That is really, really sad. In a juepa. Oh, that is sad. No. No, 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 I don't want. Still falling. So, this is the far. Oh, this is so sad. So, in fact, <clears throat> before this ROM comes online, I will. Uh, you can only hide the app because in fact it's burnt in uh, and if you ever have a problem like this just go into your settings you see I did not install the settings uh, menu uh, for this because I think it's a little bit heavy I even wanted to downgrade but then in fact I found that you know the McLaw uh, version is just the best it's the latest and it's just good uh, it's very light it has no gaps so in fact yeah but uh, this pro uh, program is this app is giving problems so we just click it and we hit for stop we say yes and then we disable it okay so now in fact the app is not really existing anymore but because we are on such a powerful system we can easily also go into our root browser and we go to the folder called system in here you can always find my briefings in here you will find uh, not in this room but in my other rooms a briefing it's called apk uh, the folder is called uh, extra apks and in there you find a briefing and extra apks that in fact i cannot install or inject because they they, they, they crash when they start up and then the ROM is not working so I just put them there and you can install them yourself okay so um, yeah after the install the boot uh, animation is also uh, already injected so you don't have to go and flash that again that was very amateuristic uh, when I started out but yes I'm still growing so I'm learning a lot but we uh, wanted to remove the app we just go to app here in the system folder and we just look the app up we are very powerful 
and we just hold this app and we say delete and it will be deleted from the drive there's one more thing uh, it's gonna ask for permission here that is the root permission you must give it root permission otherwise you know you don't need super sue etc this is all built in so and now the app is gone you know it won't be anywhere around uh, probably if we go to um, if we go to our launcher and we say restore hidden apps you see it's gone it's completely gone and uh, the update effect of the deleting will be done after restarting because after apps installing you know if you install some apps you will have to reboot the system we're going back in time peeps we're going old school you know after you install the app you know you must reboot to see the app to actually see the app this is so beautiful eh? such a beautiful resolution as well wow amazing and the boot up time is just over 13 14 seconds there it comes already boom i think for an old phone like this um i think this is a fantastic second life uh, for this phone just because it still works very nice and as you can see um i launcher will start and if everything goes good the iNotifier should also start. There you go, you see that? The iNotifier also start. So, in fact, yeah, now I have a system that, in fact, works. So, only thing that I have to do is uh, uninject the Xiaomi uh, music app. I thought it was working, really. Um, I have NPO here also as well installed. I don't see NOS. Um, tja, I'm listening, listening a lot to effect this. It's saying about the last version. So I remember that uh, we also had a problem here with playing live videos. Not sure if it's gonna play now or it's gonna quit. You see, it quits, but it plays the radio fine. The radio plays fine. So in fact, yeah, I can understand if you already hate the idea to see that crash, but this works fine. You see that? So um, I'm in fact only using the radio. Uh, NOS, I maybe should uh, still inject in this baby, but uh, for now I will not, so it's all good now. Um, tja, the compass is also there. See that? Looking really nice. It's a little bit shaky, Stevens. So, boom. Um, tja, what more do you need to know? I think I already showed it all, the blue light is there. Oh yes, the Chinese app store, I, I added that uh, the wallpaper thing is like, you know, standard. Cause, tja, I'm lazy to rename all the wallpapers that Cyanogen mod also adds and I don't want to remove them. I, you know, I think it's cool that people have so many wallpapers, but this app will, you know, let you change a wallpaper offline. So you don't need to be online, you know, you just, boom if you like this boom you set it as a wallpaper and the wallpaper will be set by the way in my other rooms um with the uh, with with the eye control you will get uh, a little error saying a little just a little bug saying uh, eye control has stopped but in fact it never stopped it's just there so yeah what can i say i'm really happy with this room uh, I will fix it, remove the other app still out of it. it, you know, it's never perfect, but I think this way now it's it's kind of good. Mm, battery life on uh, this ROM, this is the 4.42, I think. Let's take a look at that real fast before we're going to stop this video. Because I don't want to make the file too big, the megabytes. Takes hours to upload about the phone. Um, 
Yes, here you can see it's 4.2.2. See that? In fact, I went for this uh, ROM because I wanted to do some uh, some Chinese uh, pimping, tested out some Chinese apps, but most of them they don't work. They are kind of not of such a good quality. So yeah, you will find them here in this app store. This, by the way, is the Chinese app store. Okay. Um, it's not uh, uh, for the Chinese people only because you can also type English words and then it will search on that for you. For instance, if you type iOS, iOS, then you will find a lot of iOS things. See that? And also stuff that you don't find. This here, in fact, is a uh, is a setting I want to show it to you uh, oh no this is the phone this is yeah kind of the the phone I don't know if you can see it if you install this then you have exactly the same phone I, I found it not needed this is the settings the new Chinese settings but it's in Chinese you see that it's bloody in Chinese so sad you see that it looks fantastic, but it's in Chinese. So in fact, yeah, this must be translated in English if somebody can edit it and uh, translate it. Maybe I'm gonna do it myself. I don't know how to do it yet, but I will find out, trust me. And then I will translate this app, you know, I'm gonna ask Tudor, Tudor will know. So um, yeah, so this is the only uh, place where you can find this iOS setting. This, so yeah, I'm, I'm sure many of you <laughs> are happy that I inserted this store. By the way, this store sometimes it can send uh, some uh, some banner, and you know if you get tired of that, just lock it in the go to the to the settings and just you know disable the app after you got all whatever you got or just delete it with the root browser you know how to do it now so that's it peeps uh, i'm very happy of my about my uh, samsung gyo it's yeah, a beautiful little phone now i i always liked it in a way just because it's a smartphone i love all smartphones especially android smartphones and uh, samsung smartphones just because of the great support yeah samsung gyo so in fact i'm really happy that uh yeah i didn't have to make this video so long but this room of course will also be somewhere in the description when i uploaded it it's not so big it's pretty light so uh, i'm gonna fix the diomi app uh in fact if you inst if you have this you know you shouldn't go look for too many apps you know uh i think most of the stuff in here is already tja, what do you want to do with the old phone like this i don't even see my video editor i didn't even put a video editor in here i just kept it really light you know but we do have a fm radio so that means uh if you kind of uh, put in a little antenna you know then you can listen to the radio it's saying pop in an antenna and tja, if you just put in some headphone here then you can also listen to the radio radio kill the oh no it was video kill the radio star yes we're all on video now eh? so peeps um yeah if you still have the samsung uh, s3 gyo why not give it a second life you can always use it to call the Chinese hello can you bring me some food please yes thank you why not you can even install a VoIP phone on this thing you don't even have to put insert by the way that is also a project that we're gonna do because I tried to add uh, a VoIP phone to the system but yeah crashing when I'm you know starting up the app it's crashing so that's why I made compromises and you know the apps in here in these ROMs that I create are kind of balanced apps you know they are um, tja, how can you say it they are not heavy and they they, they do a good function and tja, uh, they have no spyware at least they have no 
oh yeah i must show you one more thing very important people very 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 important i forget to i forget to show you okay so we're going to the app store now we're going to the app store and the app store is turning for me there we're gonna type in we're gonna type c m s q r t okay that is what you're gonna type cm security and then you will get um cm security you will find the light version wait hold on let me first turn the screen okay welcome right. back i just turned off the rotation and uh, we're going back here to the market and it's a little bit not so uh, clear for you to see but you should go for the cm security light yeah you will also get a pop-up from uh from the market it will say hey you are rooted can we please install just say cancel okay don't do it let uh, do the installing yourself don't be lazy you know otherwise market will start sending you all sorts of apps that you know um tja, very annoying so there we go we hit next 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 install and this is very important okay because you're gonna see that it's gonna find uh, security holes in here that need to be fixed and if you don't fix them it's not good you understand good okay we open it there we go this is cm security and all you guys on 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 any android version should get this okay you should get this you can already see it found problems okay so we're gonna do a scan it found one problem and the problem that it found is called safe browsing you see that it said you must enable it so it's resolving you see boom and it's resolved every time you're gonna download the app this thing is gonna scan the app for you and it's gonna it's gonna make sure that you don't get no trash on your phone you know you guys must really do it any version of Android you should scan with CM security it's very very important okay the next thing that is important is to use your firewall you know no Android ROMs have firewalls nobody is thinking of putting in a firewall that why you know on your computer you have a firewall as well these phones they have enough power to run this tiny firewall that can at least block these apps from going to the internet making your life miserable you understand you know sending all sorts of banners and giving all sorts of bloody advices you know exactly what i mean you know these suggestions so um peeps not gonna make this video any longer i'm so happy with this what we created today um tja, if you also like this project um check and head up to our facebook page it's face facebook.com forward slash puck rum uh, up there you will find the latest downloads of the things that i created and tudor as well and uh, tudor is gonna soon also make the i tudor rom so keep an eye on that make sure that you like our facebook give it a like so you kind of get a message when whenever we post something you know a new rom whatever you know you can also request a rom you can request a ROM if you have some Samsung phone lying around, the old phone, Samsung S2, you know, maybe some other. Maybe we have some beautiful ROM for you that you you can be just as happy like me with this $5 phone that nobody in fact wants anymore, the Samsung Gio. Ja. So that was it, peeps. Wish you a great week, weekend, and love to see you in my next video again. Please subscribe. Good. Okay, you know.